Welcome to another example on determining whether an infinite series is converging or diverging. We do have general guidelines outlined here for determining if an infinite series converges or diverges. However, I think what we'll find is with practice, we'll recognize which test to apply based upon the form of the infinite series. Let's take a look at our example. We want to determine if the given series converges or diverges and state the test used. Typically, we want to start with the nth term divergent test, which is a test to see if the nth term approaches zero. This test tells us that if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n doesn't equal zero, we can quickly determine that the series is divergent. Notice how if the limit does equal to zero, this test doesn't tell us anything. The series can still be divergent or convergent based upon the outcome of a different test. So looking at the given series, notice that a sub n would be this quotient. So we're going to find the limit as n approaches infinity of two divided by n times the cube root of n. And this is a pretty straightforward limit. Notice the numerator is always two and the denominator increases without bound and therefore this fraction approaches zero and therefore this limit is equal to zero. So again, when this limit is equal to zero, the nth term divergent test doesn't tell us anything. So let's go ahead and just state that the nth term divergent test is inconclusive for this series. Which means we'll have to apply a different test to determine if this is convergent or divergent. To recognize which test to apply, let's rewrite the denominator using rational exponents. If we consider a sub n just for a moment, it would be two divided by n times the cube root of n is the same as the cube root of n to the first. Using our rational exponent rule here, this would be n to the one-third power. And n is the same as n to the first, so we can write a sub n as two divided by n to the four-thirds power, which means we can rewrite the given series as the sum from n equals one to infinity of two divided by n to the four thirds. So in this form, we should recognize that the series does resemble the p-series. So now we'll apply the p-series test. So to review, the p-series test tells us that the infinite series in this form converges if p is greater than one and diverges if p is greater than zero and less than or equal to one. And again, we just rewrote the given series as the summation of n equals one to infinity of two divided by n to the four thirds power. But it'll also be helpful if we factor out this two so it's an exact match to the p series. So we can write this as two times summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n to the four thirds. Notice if this series here converges, then two times a converging series would also converge. And in this form, it's much easier to recognize that p is equal to four thirds, and four thirds is greater than one, and therefore the series will converge. So by the p-series test, the given infinite series which is equal to two times the infinite series where a sub n would just be one divided by n to the four thirds with p equal to four thirds, which is greater than one, converges. Okay, that's gonna do it for this example. We'll take a look at another example in the next video. I hope you found this helpful.